very excited to have with us some folks that will be signing in group fashion their agreements to go to work in the trade fields. And how exciting is that? As chair of the Assembly Workforce Development Committee, it is my real privilege to work to connect employers with the many people that are looking for jobs. Right as of uh, yesterday, I believe we had over 100,000 jobs available in this state with less than 40,000 applicants and resumes on that page. But to that end, I'd like to introduce a colleague who is very pro-workforce, very pro-economic growth, very pro-business, and uh, she has been, she, we came into the legislature at the same time in 2010, and uh, she has since moved on from the People's House of the Assembly to the lower house of the Senate, and uh, <laughs> sorry, Kathy, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't help it, but, but would you please uh, welcome uh, to our stage S Senator Kathleen Bernier. Just got to get the, get in that jab. I don't think I need two microphones, do I? No, no, no. Okay. Um, hold on to that. So what a pleasure to be here. I've been out in your seat and uh, listened to all of the folks speak uh, at this event for many years because I was the county clerk in Chippewa County for 12 years. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with Charlie Walker in his uh, economic development team, and it's um, an I am looking forward to continue working with them. It's too loud, Warren. Um, <laughs> well, since we're in full swing of the budget, I thought I would give you something, some numbers to chew on along with your eggs. Uh, currently, Wisconsin taxpayers invest $27.5 billion in education, which is approximately 44% of all general purpose revenue. Education is an important investment. In 2000, <clears throat> excuse me, in 2013, just coming out of the Great Recession, we had employers clamoring for skilled labor. I was asked to be the lead of in the assembly for one of the most dynamic and beneficial programs for employers and workers. Wisconsin, fast forward. This idea Really, the credit belongs to Governor Walker and his team. They asked me to lead Wisconsin Fast Forward. That is a grant program, and it is nationally recognized as innovative talent development solution driven by Wisconsin businesses to train and retain highly skilled workers. Youth apprenticeship is one aspect of Wisconsin Fast Forward. Our investment in this program was hard to nail down, but trust me, it's a lot less than one-tenth of one percent of the entire budget. Youth apprenticeship is not a new idea, just grossly underutilized in the past. For decades, if you were a student that was not college-bound, generally, you didn't know what your options were. Skilled trades were very underappreciated for their contributions to our economy, as well as the great compensation that comes with those careers. I recently attended CESA 10 with school superintendents. It was announced currently in the CESA 10 region, there are over 406 students involved in youth apprenticeships. Over the past four years, 1,639 students in the CESA 10 region have participated in youth apprenticeships, compared to just 974 the entire eight years prior. The employers we have here today, please come forward, as well as students, you can make your way, I'm almost done blabbing. The employers we have here today recognize the importance of growing their talent pool and having acted on it. To those students, hooray for you, you had the wisdom and the ambition to seek out your opportunities. Congratulations on a job well done.
Today's young adults and students are the keys to this area's future workforce development needs. Today, we recognize the area youth who have joined the winner's circle by taking part in the Chippewa Fresh Start Youth Build and Chippewa Valley Youth Apprenticeship Programs. My name is Greg Meyer and I am a senior at Stanley Boyd High School. Hi, I'm Carson Humke and I am a senior at Greenwood High School. My name is Jack Welke. I'm a senior here at the Chippewa Falls High School. My name is Jeremiah Budke. I am a senior at Menominee High School. My name is Mason Lofquist. I'm a senior at Greenwood High School. The Youth Apprenticeship provides me with a little bit more of a background so I can see what the actual career is like before I go to school for it. And I think that's really beneficial because instead of going to school for a couple of years and not seeing what it's like, I can see what it's like before I go to school. It's going to look good on my job resume if I ever want to go do something else and if I ever want to move up in the company. Um, and it'll give me another credit to graduate high school. Well, there was a lot of benefits and uh, a lot of training on the job. You don't really have to go to college for it. Um, I'm a machinist and I work with metals and plastics. I drill holes, mill surfaces, and it's a lot of fun for me. I have always liked farming and especially the tractor driving side to farming. So this is an opportunity where I can just, just drive tractor. I just can't think of a better job. <laughs> I'm going to be learning uh, to operate um, case packing machines and operating robots that package the butter. And it was great for me to do the youth apprenticeship program because I don't think I would have even gone into this job if, or career if I hadn't done the youth apprenticeship. Your 2019 Chippewa Valley Youth Apprenticeship and Youth Build Winner's Circle.